I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hey there, I hope you're doing well in quarantine. This is Quarantine with the Stars, where I'm catching up with your favorite celebs to see how they're staying safe and sane in quarantine. I'm your host, Brian Santos, and today I am joined by an incredibly talented Tony and Emmy winning star of stage and screen. Please welcome LaShawn. LaShawn, thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. I am so excited. We're going to be getting into so much fun stuff, your Broadway career, your film and TV career, what you have going on now, and of course, how you're keeping busy in quarantine. Yes, trying Perfect. It. <laughs> yes, let's start with that. Let's let's kind of uh, check in with you. So how are you doing? You know, we're all stuck in here in these four walls. I'm sure it's getting to you as much as it's getting to me. So tell me, how are you doing and how are you keeping busy? Well, I am cooking a lot and I, I'm actually exercising a lot because I'm a, I'm a busy body. And when I have to just sit still, it drives me crazy. So I've been running in my neighborhood a lot, doing a lot of walking a lot of sit-ups and stuff like that. But I'm also trying to keep away from that quarantine 15 that everyone's saying we're all mm -hmm. going to be getting. Same here. <laughs> that quarantine 15. So with all the food that I'm cooking, I'm trying to offset it with all the activities. So. Absolutely. Listen, I feel you on that one. Reading and a lot of binge watching of TV shows on Netflix. So. Amazing. What are you watching? Oh, my God. I just finished Ozark. Oh, yes. Everyone <sighs> loves that one. I haven't seen it, but I my need God. to. <laughs> Oh my God, I literally just finished it and I was, this is the best TV show I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so good. So now I don't, I'm not watching anything right now. I'm reading a book with my book club, so. Amazing. All right, I mentioned that you have such an incredible career and everyone probably knows so much about you. So what I want to know is, can you tell me something that pe most, that most people might not know about you? Oh, uh, professionally? You mean like in my business? Um, a little bit of both, professionally, personally, okay. a little fun tip. Okay, great. Well, um, I do have one name. I use one name. It's one thing that they may not know is what my legal first name used to be before I changed it. It was Rhonda. That's oh, okay. interesting. Know. LaChance is actually my middle name. It's my grandmother's name. And um, when I was younger, I just always loved it more than Rhonda. So as soon as I left my parents' home, I ran down to the city clerk's office and changed my name to LaChance and just made that my first name. And then professionally, I just only use that name. So that's something that people may not know. That I, actually I love that. Beautiful names. Perfect. <laughs> and, yeah, that's a little tip. And, <laughs> Very um, fun. And uh, we were just, I, I do a lot of voiceover work. People may not know that. I play cartoon characters a bit. And yes. uh, that's something that people may not know about me. But I'm like, right now, I'm actually recording a work on a show that I'm doing and that's something that I'm keeping myself busy with is the voiceover stuff so because that's fun to do and um it still keeps me creative definitely well you mentioned your voiceover work and I know you had your role in Hercules you're one of the muses yeah is it Tepa score all it's the Greek names are so hard Hickory. Okay, That's I'm like, oh, the Greek Terp names are so hard I'm like struggling <laughs> I know no I had right? to teach me that one yes yeah. well um there was news broken that they just announced a possible live action Hercules. I think it's in the works. Um, not, I'm, I, I also saw, I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan. I saw that she did her version of I Won't Say I'm in Love. So oh, yeah. tell me your thoughts about that. Do you think she's fitting for Meg? Who do you think will be a perfect fit for that? I think who, she's a great fit for Meg. Right? <laughs> I think she's a great fit for Meg. I mean, there's so much talent out there right now, but I can see her as Meg. She's, she's a little young, but I still think she could play the part. You know, she. I think she can do it because... Uh, Susan Egan, who did it, was phenomenal in the Definitely, original. yes. Oh, my gosh. Um, but it was one of the, I, I think that she would be great in that part. But I also know that there are so many other powerful voices out mm -hmm. there that could be the, that could fulfill the muses roles. All the yes. muses, Terpsichore and Calliope and all the different roles. We had so much fun doing that. Definitely. Would you be open to being as part of that live action show? Absolutely. If yes. they, you know, if, if they come my way, I'll be like, I can reprise. Yeah. <laughs> we would love for you to reprise. <laughs> amazing. Well, yeah. you know, you mentioned that you're doing more voiceover work. And what I want to know from you, isn't it amazing how we can kind of still connect and still keep like, you know, the entertainment aspect going from yeah. our homes, you know, with like this, like Zoom or doing voiceover work? Absolutely. And I, you know, one thing I've been doing just to keep my audience in, engaged is I've been, fortunately, a lot of theaters have been releasing video of mm -hmm. performances. So, um, um, last summer, I did a musical based on the book, The Secret Life of Bees. 
yes. at the theater company and it got all kinds of really great responses. And just the uh, on my Instagram page, I released today a video of a, tree, a song that I was singing with two other performers. And these mm. are the kinds of things that typically theaters don't release the video because yes. it's theater. they want you to come and sit in the theater. But because we are limited now with, with content, they're releasing this and I'm able to share it with my audience, which is really kind of cool. Kind of cool. Absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely so amazing that people are going live on Instagram. We're doing these Zoom yeah. meetings and Zoom interviews, and it's really making use of the technology in these crazy times, you know? So you mentioned your stint on Broadway, which I mentioned it. It's been absolutely amazing. You're Tony winning and so much amazing work you've done. What would be your, if you could only have one or like maybe one or two, what would be your absolute favorite that you've done? That I have done? It would have to be Silly in the Color Purple. Yeah. <laughs> it have to be Silly. Definitely. Yes. I'm Definitely. sure as well. I'm sure you were loving that role and you, you know, you mentioned you won the Tony for it. So what were you thinking in that moment too, when you, when you won that Tony, like what was going through your mind? I'm sure there's so much emotion. Well, honestly, I didn't, I was in a category with um, some of my idols, actually, Patti Lapone, and you know, I just, at the fact that I won was almost just very surprised. It was a huge surprise to me at that time. Um, but I was so grateful for being in that group of women and being acknowledged mm -hmm. for my work. Uh, the Tony was a cherry on, on, the, on top. The nomination was really kind of special to me. Yes, I love that. Well, also what, what Broadway have that you've not done would you want to be in? A musical or a play? Doesn't matter. Um, either, yeah, doesn't matter. Well, you know, I would actually like to gender bend a little bit and play Ooh, yes. um, the role. Uh, I mean, I know people think it's crazy, but I would love to be in Hamilton and I would love oh, to be yes. in Hamilton. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hamilton so. is popping off. Have yeah. you, I'm sure you've seen the, you mentioned them, the, some of the um, live Broadway productions that are going on or like live theatrical productions. What are your thoughts on those as well? You know, it's kind of hard because um, when you're in a theater and you're sitting in a theater, you have a different experience. You're a part of the production. You're a part of yes. the, the energy that's in the room. On television, sometimes it's hard to capture that that special quality that's shared with an audience and, and performers. Um, but I do think that this Jesus Christ Superstar that they did about a year ago, mm -hmm. remember that one? I think that one really hit the mark. That was yes. so, to me, that was the best live action I've seen. The John Legend starring in it. And yes, Brian so Lee great. And Judas. It was just amazing. It was really one of my best live action productions that's being done. And I'm hoping Hercules will take it to the next level. Yes, like you said, we're hoping we see some great talent. I know there's going to be so many amazing people that will cast, you know, the muses. I'm yep. the biggest Ariana Grande fan, so hopefully she does get that part as Meg. I'm waiting for that, but <laughs> it's been such a pleasure to have you here, LaChance. Um, where can people find you on social media? At Ms. At Ms. LaChance, M.S. LaChance. That's it. Ms. Perfect. Anywhere at Ms. LaChance. That's me. Perfect. And before we go, you know, do you want to tell anyone what you're working on, what they can expect from you next? Um, just stay tuned, please. Just join my webpage and my, and, and not my, if you want to go to my website, you can, it's uh, mislachance.com, but you can also just, just go on all my social media. I post everything there, what I'm doing, what I'm working on. I'm working on my, my, my own personal show. I'm doing some rewriting on it. And I'm just excited about the TV that I did before we were quarantined and looking forward to this next project that I'm going to be working on if we get out of current quarantine. Yeah. Yes. I am hopeful for that as well. Release us, I'll be able to get back to work. So, yes, definitely. Well, we can't wait to see more of you, Lashant. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to be on the lookout for all your projects and catch up on what you've done already. Um, I'm Brian Santos. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at the Brian Santos. Again, this has been Quarantine with the Stars with Lashant. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.